Yes, I'm here. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much. I think we're almost time. One more minute to go. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, one, one more minute. And oh, okay. So I think it's time. Maybe we, we should get started because uh, some of our viewers are already uh, are coming in, and um, I guess they are ready to try out on this very interesting art form called Ebru. Right. Is it, did it, do I say it right? Is it Ebru or Ebru? Yes, yes, exactly it's right. Your pronunciation is very good, Ebru. <laughs> Wonderful, <laughs> thank you so much. So uh, why don't we get started and let me just welcome everybody to our um, intercultural handicraft workshop. Uh, we are here at the Chinese University, the Institute of Future Cities, and um, our project is called Multiculturalism in Action. And the reason why we're called Multiculturalism in Action is, of course, that we believe that um, Hong Kong is a very multicultural society, um, but that uh, we should be promoting a lot more um, the uh, multicultural um, knowledge and um, information that we have. And it's such a shame if we don't do that. So, and I think it is for everybody's benefit if we know more about different cultures and be able to appreciate cultural diversity. So um, uh, what we do is basically to uh, promote uh, positive ethnic relations through uh, projects like um, handicrafts, like uh, festivals or cooking. Um, if you're new to our program, um, actually we have several publications. Let me do a bit of advertisements. So we have um, this book called um, What Are We Celebrating? We put in um, 18 different festivals in Hong Kong that are celebrated by ethnic minority communities. So if you haven't had a book, um, you better go grab one and then you can try out these different festivals um, that are uh, happening around Hong Kong and are public. And so uh, you're very welcome to take part in um, those festivals. Um, we also have this book um, which um, introduces um, different recipes cooking recipes of um, various ethnic groups. And um, many of these are written by mothers um, from different ethnic communities and um, they show us what um, they are cooking traditionally as well as some fusion dishes after they come to Hong Kong. So this is another very interesting uh, publication. We also have other uh, books on the Pakistani community, on the Nepalese community, Bangladeshi, uh, Sri Lankans, Indians. So um, you know, these are some of the workshops that we've been organizing and uh, most of these information are online in the uh, Multiculturalism in Action or we call it MIA on this side. I always have a problem. <laughs> so uh, we call ourselves MIA or MIA um, which is Multiculturalism in Action. Hopefully um, everybody finds our information useful and um, you'll be able to enjoy the cultural diversity in Hong Kong as well. Let, let me just say a, a few words in Cantonese just to um, say hello to the Cantonese speakers. Uh so the reason why we are organizing these um, handicraft workshops is that uh, we believe that there are many ways to learn about cultures. And so a handicraft is one great way, I, I believe. And especially under the uh, pandemic situation, most of us are staying at home. And um, it's very important to be able to keep learning and be able to enjoy cultures uh, at the same time while we are staying home. So today, we are very, very happy and honored to have our speaker, Selen. Um, okay, let me read so, so I won't speak it wrong. Um, it's Selen Berkiroglu. Uh, it's yeah, uh, it's a little bit long. That's why it's hard to pronounce it. Pronounce it. it. Bikir Olu. Bikir Ro. Olu. Olu. Ah, I see. Bikir Olu. Olu. 
yes. Ah, okay, wonderful. <laughs> that's, that's how we learn, right? So, um, and a uh, great honor to have you, Selen, and um, you'll be teaching us what to do with this extremely interesting art form called Ebru. So um, before we do that, let me introduce the speaker to our uh, viewers. Um, Selen uh, was born and raised in Turkey, but uh, she moved to Hong Kong uh, about four years ago, and now um, uh, she is here uh, working as an um, uh, art technician in an international school. Um, and she's staying here in Hong Kong um, with her son, seven yeah. years old. Um, next time you promise to bring him, right? <laughs> okay, and, but the reason why Selin is here having us with uh, learning about Ibru is that she herself is an artist. She graduated from the Fine Art University in Istanbul and um, she has learned marbling art with her very, uh, very well respected, renowned professor at the university. So um, perhaps Selin, you could uh, tell us a little bit more about yourself. Uh, of course, uh, that you mentioned it, uh, I'm from Turkey. Uh, I was born and raised in Turkey. Uh, I have been living in Hong Kong for two, two, uh, four years. Uh, I have a son uh, and he is uh, seven years old. Uh, if I talk about my background, my art background, I graduated from Nimar Sinan Fine Art University in Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, I have uh, work experience for 10 years and I work in different sectors as visual merchandiser and marketing specialist. Now I am working in ISF school in Hong Kong as a, as a primary art technician. My main responsibility is to assist the teachers and help students during the class. Uh, it's really fun uh, to work with children. Uh, they are really amazing about the art. And I am really into the, into it, the art. Uh, my art experience are Turkish marbling arts, but and also painting, drawing, and ceramics. I'm uh, really fond of the ceramics as well. I have learned Turkish marbling arts when I was in university. Uh, and uh, Ebru is very traditional Turkish arts. If you have a chance to visit in Turkey, uh, Everyone knows Ebru, Ebru, and then you can maybe go to the course and you can learn in Turkey as well. Okay, yes. I'm sure that's going to be one very um, important activity that tourist groups should be doing right now. Um, I think it's very popular too. Yes, you are right. It's, it's very popular uh, because uh, if you work with the water, it's like you feel calm and yeah. you feel so comfortable. Uh, that means, uh, and you are making some pattern on, on the surface, it's mm -hmm. amazing. It's not like a painting, it's another uh, technique, uh, how can you make a amazing works, artworks. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, let, let me just introduce you in Cantonese um, to our viewers. Everyone, <laughs> 那我們的Selen 那些艺术家的艺术家的艺术家的艺术家的艺术家的艺术家的艺术家的艺术家的艺术家的艺术家的艺术家的艺术家的艺术家的艺术家的艺术家的艺术家的艺术家的艺术家的艺术家的艺术
，令到自己嗰個意思咧可以係重現喺張紙上面。咁、那個過程咧，誒、呃、同一般畫畫，譬如油畫、水彩呢啲又好唔同，去令到你係個人會好安靜啦。咁係一個好特別嘅一個感覺嚟嘅。咁而個好處當然就係不論大人啦、細路哥，其實咩年齡咧都可以做嘅。OK， 咁我哋咧事不宜遲咧，就不如請 Selen 介紹一下究竟浮水畫係乜嘢啦。OK，Selen，、okay, uh, perhaps we could take the time now、uh, for you to、um, introduce to us what April really is. Should we start the PowerPoint now? Yeah, sure. We can go,、uh, go, go on. Yes. OK。咁下一張我哋睇下係乜嘢先。OK、uh,。Ebru is the traditional Turkish art of creating colorful patterns by sprinkling and brushing color pigments onto the basin of oily water and transferring two patterns to paper.、Mm. It basically means you can draw on the water, and you, whenever you put the paper on it, you can see the patterns on the paper. It's like a Uh, magic. It's it's、uh, something is happening. A、uh, paper and the water. It's really magical.、Mm. Yes, I think it's actually very exciting because the first time I saw it, it was totally you know amazing because you know I couldn't understand why the paint get transferred from the water to the paper. Ha, this is actually a very magical process. When I first saw it, I thought it was really amazing. Because the first time I saw it, it was totally you know amazing because you know I couldn't understand why the paint get transferred from the water to the paper. Ha, this is actually a very magical process. When I first saw it, it was totally you know amazing because you know I couldn't understand why the paint get transferred from the water to the paper. Ha, this is actually a very magical process. When I first saw it, it was totally you know amazing because you know I couldn't understand why the paint get transferred from the water to the paper. Ha, this is actually a very magical process. When I first saw it, it was totally you know amazing because you know I couldn't understand why the paint get transferred from the water to the paper. Ha, this is actually a very magical process. When I first saw it, it was totally you know amazing because you know I couldn't understand why the paint get transferred from the water to the paper. Ha, this is actually If you say、uh, some kind of thing to someone, maybe you,、uh, they cannot believe it to you because right, 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 right. So perhaps you could explain what April really is now. <laughs> yeah, maybe let,、uh, let me talk about the Turkish marbling art、uh, history. Maybe we can go back.、Uh, exactly,、uh, it's unknown when or where Ebru art started. Mm. However,、uh, it said this type of art was origin in Central Asia.、Mm. It's called abru. It means surface of water, or abri.、Mm. It means clouds in Iran.、Mm. After that, through the Silk Road, it came to the Anatolia,、uh, and it came to be known as abru.、Uh, currently, abru is known as mar Turkish marbling art. Uh, it uh, Ebru was spread in Europe as a Turkish paper marbling art,、uh, and Ebru is commonly used for decoration.、Uh, ah, okay. So these are the pictures that you show us、um, here on the PPT.、Um, so what what are they? They look like fabric. Oh yeah, you Ebru is a very different,、um, a, a very different dice because. The dice is stick all of the elements,、mm. metal,、uh, fabric,、uh, wood, paper, tiles. You can use any kind of materials. It's very uh, different uh, material. Uh, that's why you can use old materials.、Uh, now maybe you can't see, but、uh, I made、uh, my sketchbooks with Ebru. You can't see now because.、Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay.、Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. That's very pretty. It was before the plate. Yes. I apply the abru on the top. It, it, right. Right. Very colorful. The pattern is very nice, and it is very unique. It's it's very good because、uh, you、uh, you never make same thing on the water. It's、mm. unique. <笑> yeah, yeah. 啊、我諗觀眾咧睇到嗰本簿咧，好有興趣。呢本就係 Selen 咧，佢喺佢自己個畫簿上面咧就誒、呃、擠咗啲 Abru 嘅顏料上去。咁其實除咗紙之外咧，佢啱啱亦都提到，不論係金屬啦、係陶瓷啦、木啦、紙啦、布啦，都可以用 Abru 呢個形式去誒、呃、擠到好多好靚嘅顏料誒誒嘅圖案上去嘅。咁其實誒 Abru 有好長嘅歷史咧，其實已經長到大家都唔記得啦。但係誒，自從十七世紀誒 ，Abru 喺歐洲咧，經過誒土耳其人帶咗去安納托利亞之後，嚇 Abru 喺歐洲咧，跟住就發揚光大咗
。啊，咁我哋誒、呃、如果睇下下一章咧，誒係啦，咁誒 Simon 咧就會解釋，即係其實點解佢會咁特別，點解可以用水去畫畫嚇？ Perhaps Helen,、uh, Helen, you can tell us then about the materials used in Ebro because I, I think these are very important because the reason why you have this、uh, magnificent pattern, or in, in a way something that you can't control, but、uh, you try to control, right? In,、uh, in Ebro. So,、uh, what is it? What are the why? Why are these materials so important? This materials is important because it's a, it's about traditional traditional use.、Mm. Uh, You can use uh, not uh, plain water. You can use tap water, but you should put some materials in it. Maybe、mm -hmm. uh, let me maybe explain now. Uh, the basin, uh, it's uh, basin is the it's it means a simple tray. You、mm -hmm. can use any、uh, tray. You you can use any container、uh, for the、uh, water, and then you can put water in it. It's the, this is the basin. Water. Any any basin is okay. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's not important.、Uh, you can use metal. You can use wood. You can use plastic.、Mm. Yeah, you can use everything.、Mm. Water is little bit、uh, different. You can use tap water,、mm. but、uh, in traditional Turkish paper marble art,、uh, we use tap water. But it's impossible to form patterns and flowers shapes. Patterns. Uh, because the movements cannot be controlled with a tap water,、mm. and the viscosity of the fluid used needs to be higher than the water, and for this reason, several、uh, the many materials have been used over the years, like、uh, cellulose, so,、uh, like gum stabilizer,、uh, like okra. It's like these are like a seeds, and you have to put in the water. And water going to be not liquid, and you have to control very easily.、Uh, that's why it's so important.、Mm -hmm. uh, papers we can use any kind of paper,、uh, mm -hmm. but it should be、uh, paper should be fit in the tray. We make sure that、uh, brush brush is important as well. Traditionally used in marbling are made of horse hair, horse hair. And rose branch. Maybe I can show in the camera as well. I have、uh, the brush.、Uh, this oh,、one. okay. It、this、looks different.、Uh, the brush side is a horse hair, and this one is a、uh, branch.、Uh, this is very important because、um, the horse hair,、uh, the the paint can absorb inside the horse hair. And it's going to be watered very easily. That's why we are using horsehair. is is like a br brushy. It's not、uh, soft.、Uh, mm -hmm. It's it's very interesting method. Is、uh, we are using in tra、uh, traditionally a bro this kind of、uh, brush. Ah, oh, this kind of brush is very interesting. And its history is very long. It is used as wool and wool to make the wool. The reason is that the wool can absorb the wool and the wool can absorb the wool and the wool can absorb the wool. 撒落個水上面咧，先至獲得到嗰個誒需要嗰個效果，呢、这個好有趣嚇。咁我哋再睇落去啦，我哋頭先講咗誒盤咧，就要任何一啲盤都得啦。誒、呃、水咧就一定要係夠濃嘅，畫筆當然我哋一般買唔到呢一啲誒馬鐘毛做嘅誒、呃，或者用玫瑰枝做嘅筆啦。咁但係我哋今次就用住一啲普通嘅畫筆先啦。畫紙咧最好就係有吸力嘅。Now so what about the dyes and colouring agents? Uh, before I would like to say something is very a little bit、uh, interesting about the water. Ah, okay. You know that the old masters used rainwater for the marbling. Yes. Because it's very poor. That's why they they were using a、uh, rainwater,、uh, and、right. now it's it's impossible maybe. But、oh, yes. yes. Okay. Yes.、Uh, on the dice. Oh, okay, so so can can I just ask this question? So, what why did old masters use rainwater? Because they believe it was pure. Yes, it is right. If it's、oh, okay, affects more efficiently. That's why they are using rainwater. Oh, that reminds us of Chinese、um, artists because they would collect rainwater for、yeah. um, either at their different artworks or they use the rainwater to make tea. So they they need to. 
have something pure, they, they would collect it from heaven. I think that's the idea. It's very similar. Yeah, it's right. Yes. It's, uh, the idea co comes from the Asia. Maybe it's come maybe in Hong Kong or some part of China. Oh, we can't use the ring here. Absolutely, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, then you want to go to the, the right. colors, right? Okay. Okay, we are using mi mineral pigments have been traditionally used in marbling since very early times. Mm. Yes. Uh, however, these pigments may be not be, uh, not be limited to, to defined kinds. Uh, sometimes uh, water-soluble colors, watercolor paint. Right. Acrylics. Ink type pigments may also be used in marmalic arts, but although some uh, do not produce the same result as others. Yes. So it depends on what effect you you need. You will use different colors. Yeah, uh, I I have some pigments. Maybe I can. Ah, show okay. Okay.我们来看一下这个是什么颜色。Selen就跟我们说不同的颜料会有不同的效果。那这些。<laughs> Just wait, maybe this one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So what what is this? Uh, this is a pigment color. This is yes. traditionally used color. This okay, Chindong Song the Yongya Jong. So and what are they made of the mineral pigments? Uh, they are using the nature, maybe ah, some okay. the soil. Uh, they are using oh, okay. kind of things and uh, they are uh, put to, on the sun and they are drying and they yes gonna knead it and it's going to be like kind of okay. uh, so hard to make it I know uh, but this is a uh, I, I used before uh, for traditionally right and right right now nowadays it's hard to find it because I couldn't find in Hong Kong as well mm. uh, you can use acrylic ink pigments uh, you can use everything mm. uh, and uh, it, it's good because otherwise uh, it, it never goes happen it's nice to use in other materials. Yes, yes. So, uh, actually, different colors can be used. Depending on what effect you need. Just like what we saw, the Chinese traditionally, in the Silk Road, when they were doing the water spray, they used a kind of natural color in the sea. In the sea, it was used as a natural color. But in Hong Kong, they couldn't find it, so we could use other colors instead. Okay. 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 我哋就會見到膽汁呢樣嘢啦。我、哦、呢、这個比較少接觸喎、哦。Why why do we need to use gold? Ah,、uh, gold is the most important thing. It's the key. Yes. Because、uh, dyes without gold will sink to the bottom of the tray. Okay. We put the gold for floating the paints on the top of the surface. Right. And the gold is like a glue. Helps to dye stick on the paper.、Mm -hmm. uh, also, for example, if we mix the yellow and blue、uh, right. onto the basin,、yeah. on the water, and stir it as long as we can, we never get a green color. It never mixed because、oh, okay. uh, gold separate colors on surface. It is very important thing、uh, for every technique.、Uh, it's、uh, I think it's the key. Yes, yes. 誒、uh, ，其實呢個好有趣嘅。我我諗我哋就比較少接觸話要用膽汁去畫畫嘅。咁但係原來膽汁咧喺浮水畫裏邊好重要。原因就係佢令到啲顏料可以浮喺個水上邊，而且係顏料係唔會撈埋嘅。佢啱啱提到咧，譬如話我哋將黃色啦同埋藍色嘅顏料擠喺水上邊啦，去攪佢啦。因為佢有咗膽汁喺啲顏料裏邊咧，佢哋係溝唔埋嘅，即係你。會可以將黃色加藍色變成綠色嘅，咁呢個好有趣，因為令到顏料能夠繼續分開呢樣嘢咧，就令到浮水畫咧就產生咗好多嘅可能性啦。Can I ask if this is the the picture that we see on the screen now? In a way, it shows that the colors are not mixing.、Right? Yeah, not mixing. Hmm. Alright. So, so that's the effect of the gold. Yes, and then it's a. I, if I put one color and the other color goes to be overlap, not mixed. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So if we want to add a color into another color, that's yeah, even possible. Right. Yeah, you are right. If you put in the jar、uh, in two colors with a gold, it can mix. But、mm. if you put on the water, it can't. 
啊、oh, ，OK， 哇、wow, ，That's very fascinating。OK， 咁呢個其實係好有趣嘅一種技巧嚇，因為佢個顏料唔會混和咧，所以製造到啲唔同嘅顏色、唔同嘅關係出嚟啊，呢、這個好有趣。OK， 咁我哋下一張睇下仲需要啲咩材料 ？So two more materials。Yes， viscosity improvement is a that I mentioned about water. Uh, I the viscosity of the fluid used needs to be higher than the of to the water, uh, and for this purpose, several materials have been used over the years. Today, I use gum uh, stabilizer. It means viscosity improves. It's it's little bit different. It's like, like a seed. Hmm. Okay. So, this part can also be used to improve the viscosity. So, traditionally, there are many different materials that can be used. For example, we put it in here. There are the Amazon, the Mosquito, the Fly. 誒纖維素啊、黃芪膠呢啲都係一般誒藝術家會用到嘅物料去改變個水裏邊嘅嗰個黏度嘅。And we have something very interesting down there, which is a comb. Yes, we are using this. I, I have needles. Maybe I can show uh, the what, what the needles and the combs. Yeah, we, I have. Uh, this, this is uh, in Turkish is bees. It means needle. Okay. And, I can use on the water, and then I can make uh, the some shapes or uh, some flowers with this one. Mm. It's not the uh, same size. Uh, this one is thicker one. This one thin one. Uh, mm. And I have uh, five more like the thin or uh, the same, uh, not the same range. And right. the other ones is the important things one. This one is it's, it's okay. meant comb. Yes. Tarak, taraki. And then uh, the size is different. This one is a little bit. Uh, yes. This one is wide, wider than this one. Uh, and then I have this one. Okay. Oh, we see many different kinds of saw. Lah, is using the tang and the gum. Lah, in the wood. Can be made. The reason is we need these tools to make the drawing of the water. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Now, now that we know all the materials which are so interesting, let's look at the. Paintings themselves. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I think uh, we in Turkish modeling art we have different types of patterns and uh, they have uh, some kind of names. Yes. Uh, one, of, one of the most important pattern is batal. Uh, yes. It means the first uh, one, batal. Yeah. yeah. The last one. Uh, it means. Uh, so we call this pattern the mother, the origin of marbling design. It can be monocolor or multicolor, whatever you want. Battal mm. uh, uh, usually used for pattern, uh, used for backgrounds. That yeah. I uh, show you my sketchbooks. Before you should make the battal, Ebru, this one. And then if you want, you can make uh, flowers on the top. Okay. This right. one uh, for using background and it's the very important uh, pattern in the Ebru. Okay, so the next one is called Tidal. Is right? Tidal, yes. Tidal, yes. Yeah, Tidal. It means Gelgit, it's Turkish. Uh, for this pattern, we should use very, uh, any kind of size of tools because uh, we are making with this one the, with the tools. Uh, tools have to make different pattern on the surface. Uh, and uh, we need any kind of tools of various size, thin, right. medium, and thick, such as piece of piece of metal, pencil, uh, needle, uh, brush. You can use everything for the patterns. Right. Uh, before you make the batal, and then you can uh, use needle for this pattern. Yes. Okay. So the next one is uh, uh, comb. Comb. Yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah, this is very interesting that I showed the uh, the materials. It's it was a comb. Mm. Uh, I use the comb uh, for these patterns, uh, and uh, we have a lot of different comb, and you can make uh, a lot of kind of materials, whatever you want. Okay, highest. We move the straight uh, or uh, in the shape of the S S shape. You have to move into the basin for doing this. And uh, the, okay, and the last one is, uh, it's 
bird nest, I think. Nightingale ne nest or a yeah. baby. And these ones also uh, more impo most important uh, patterns. Uh, whenever you see these patterns, you can say it is Ebru. It's very mm -hmm. traditional shape. If you want to learn the uh, Ebru, you have to learn this shape before. Okay, this is the Kingdian Tongan. You have to learn Okay, and then we have the orator. So, but they look like flowers. Why? Why are they called orator? <laughs> <laughs> it's Miss Hatip. It's uh, in Turkish Hatip. Is if I translate this orator, I have no idea what's. The... <laughs> <laughs> but they look really pretty. Yes. Yeah, they are pretty nice. And if this is the first step of the Ebru. You have to make this one. Okay. With the, uh, materials. All right, and then we have the wave, wavy pattern on the yeah. right. This one is a little bit uh, hard to make. Uh, yes. You put to, uh, you, you make before the a battle and then you whenever you are putting the paper on the basin, you have to little be a uh, put baby, not straightly, and you can. Oh, okay. It's really hard to make it. Yes. Uh, this is my sample. This is my first sample, but uh, I have no idea. Maybe then I can't make it. It's, it's, it's really hard. To make. <laughs> okay, and then the next one is also very popular, which is um putting flowers on the uh, pattern that you make the next one is to put a turnip on yeah. the water yeah uh, i would like to show you uh, how the first step and the last step uh, about the flowers looks is most important flowers in ebru mm. uh, you can see first the one drops then two drops of green paint are placed on top of the basi yes uh, then it's drawn upwards with the help of a needle. Then we make a leaf of the flower. Right. The last part is to shape. This shape is need uh, to more practice to make better and better. It's really hard. Yes. Uh, as you can see, after the one uh, red drop, we use a needle for making shape. But this shape is uh, making like a S shape. You uh, you can use a little bit uh, writing like a S and uh, the slump uh, go, goes to be up. Okay. Uh, uh, it's going to be flowers. Uh, all flowers have unique technique and need more practice. Yeah. Uh, okay. This is Hi. one of the most important. Uh, yeah, th these are the, the other uh, yes. flowers. Yes. Oh, they look really nice, but perhaps they are more advanced. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but they're really, really pretty. So I think you have a videotape to show us uh, what to do as a professional, you know, every marbling artist, you uh, have a video, right? And um, we will just look at it. We're not going to do that uh, the professional way today, but um, let's have a look. Should we uh, clip the, look at the clip? How do you take a clip? Okay, so if you give us 10 seconds, we will turn on the video. Okay. Yes. And uh, now, uh, should I make it uh, the present at uh, the workshop? Do you, do you want it now? Yes, I think we will look at this clip first, right? Okay. Yeah, sure. Then we can make the other one. Yes. Okay. And then maybe uh, they can understand the. Uh, difference. Okay, so we are trying to turn on the video. Uh, if you will bear with us for 10 seconds. First video. Here we go. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Here we are. I'm excited as well. So, this is the professional fountain painting method. So, Helen is going to show us. Welcome to the workshop. We are not using this method because this is too professional. We will use a simple version. But we can see that in the water, we will first add some paint to the paint. Mm. 
，手要放松，然后用呢个马鬃毛撒一啲颜料上去嘅。Okay. 每一種顏料咧都應該有一個唔同嘅容器啦，咁然後打落去之前都要攪一攪勻啦，係咪啊？哦，佢形容係手好似喺水上面跳舞咁樣呢度已經有好幾種顏色喺水裏邊，睇落係好似好自由地咁撒咗啲顏色落去就得。但係其實我諗係要有目標咁樣樣，知道自己邊度要放乜嘢顏色先得。啊，係啦，我哋而家睇到啲紅。我哋見到有啲顏色係大片啲，有啲係少啲嘅，咁係有一個目標咁樣去構造一個圖案出嚟。當然我哋唔能夠初學即刻學得業啦，不過我哋欣賞一下。咁緊張嘅時候嚟啦，我哋放張紙落去。So, we, so what you're doing is to make sure there's no air bubbles, is that right? Right. Yeah, okay. Uh, because uh, the uh, dye never stick on the paper and it's getting the, uh, the white. You see the white paper. Yeah, so we have to dry it out and make sure that it doesn't have any air bubbles. Let the hand hold it and hold it. It's very amazing. <laughs> I think this is so amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Uh, 跟住我哋咧就放低或者誒夾起身嚟就吹乾佢就可以啦。Wonderful. So now this is the the professional version. Now you're going to teach us something simpler. Yeah, you are right. <laughs> right. So we we give our viewers like ten seconds to get their table ready. Um, we have asked. Uh, everyone to try to cover their table with some newspaper and then uh, have a basin ready if you are getting that ready um, get your paint brushes your colors and everything ready uh, we will start doing this ebru modeling um, Acrylic 啦，或者係用第二啲水彩啊，各樣嘢都唔得。其實我我估咧，大家都可以實驗一下咧，係試下用唔同嘅顏料啦，實驗一下用唔同嘅稀釋嘅程度啦，或者誒嗰個水機可以厚啲、薄啲啦。咁睇下你自己中意邊一種嘅感覺都得。咁但係誒講者 Sally 咧就介紹咗一種叫做 Cellulose 誒 Thickener 俾我哋，就係、是、呢個右上角嗰個圖。話咧，咁大家可以遲啲睇翻下，或者拎住呢個嚟買咧，呢、這個就非常之方便嘅，就唔需要誒溝誒誒粟粉啊各各樣嘢咧，就咁用水就可以用噶啦。Okay, so we're going back to Salon to see how we are going to create marbling art painting. Yes, yeah, I think it's okay. <laughs> okay, so everyone can pay attention to Salon's website. Ah, we have a tap water. So this is tap water you're using. Uh, this is tap water, uh, but uh, I put uh, the cornstarch on it. 
。啊，其實咁呢個咧就係用粟粉啦。咁大家咧、呃、如果用粟粉嘅朋友們咧，你可以試下啲水啦。加適量嘅粟粉，咁一誒大致上調到好似西蘭呢一個咁嘅顏色啦，甚至有人會話咧係好似誒鮮奶咁上下下嘅稠度咧都可以嘅。So how much um how much cornstarch do we put in? In your case, uh maybe a few tablespoons? Yeah, two is enough, not too much. Otherwise, it's getting thicker and then it cannot move. Maybe two spoon is is nice. Okay, 用兩湯羹嘅粟粉。And then I am literally mixing because it's now sink on the bottom. 沉沉地啦，咁需要再溝翻雲腿啫嚇。咁就攞一個咁嘅紙板去溝下佢，等佢可以撈翻雲就得啦。Okay. Brush and the the needle. They can use brush, needle, whatever they want. Yeah, and or bamboo skewers. After you have a kebab, <laughs> I guess you can use your skewer. <laughs> 食完土耳其 kebab 嘅燒烤肉啦，我哋留翻嗰啲籤啊，嗰啲竹籤啦，可以用啦啊。其實講笑啫，咁大家屋企有啲乜嘢誒竹籤啦、牙籤啦、誒畫筆啦，其實都可以攞嚟試下嘅。Okay, let's get started then. One thing, if they use the thick acrylic paint, if it's thick,、mm. they you they they make Thin with an equal amount of water, they should put little water in it. It's mm -hmm. little bit uh, like a uh, not watery, but it should be not this uh, solid, it should、right. be little, little bit watery. Thin, okay. Um, 咁如果大家屋企系用诶塑胶彩咧，就头先提到啦，个比例就系一比一，即系一定要用水咧开稀少少嘅。Okay, so if viewers, if you are using acrylic paint, um, you need to thin it out by uh, water, one to one proportion, right? Okay. Uh, and uh, I have a uh, that I mentioned that before. It's uh, using uh, for marbling. It's mm. Ink, uh, ink pigments. Mm. It's easy to make uh, on the water because acrylic is a little bit thick, a little bit hard. And these ones comes out very well. That's why I use this one. Okay, so this is the cellulose thickener. Yeah. That you、uh, told us about. Yes. Okay, so viewers, if you are ready, you can put your water in your basin. Yeah, I get your cornstarch water ready. Yes, it's ready, and then I'm gonna、uh, put uh, uh, what、uh, colors、uh, onto the basin. Okay, so this is the cellular thickener. If you have bought it,、um, some viewers have gone over to art supply stores to get this one. So if you're using this, you can see how Selen is going to put the paint on the water. 咁誒，大家 ready 咯喎，係咪啊？如果你買咗呢一個誒叫做纖維素誒增稠劑咧，咁就直情可以攞出嚟誒擺喺嗰個粟粉水上面用啦。咁如果你用塑膠彩咧，我哋俾兩秒鐘你啦，咁你可以。溝水啦，溝勻咗就可以，好似呢個情況咧就係用啦，就擠落去。So that's all you do, right? You just spr、uh, sprinkle some on the water. If they have a water,、uh, the acrylic paint, they can use the brush and then they can take with a bowl inside and then they can drop on the water.、Yeah. Okay， 咁亦都可以攞一個誒杯仔啦，開稀咗先亦得。Um, we have a question from a viewer. Can we use water color? It, it, Honestly, I haven't tried watercolor. Maybe、uh, I have to try before、uh, because watercolor is it means uh, uh, watery, and then、yes. I, I'm not sure that it comes out very efficiently. Right.、Uh, that's why I use acrylic or ink, ink pigment.、Mm -hmm. it's, it's more、uh, clear when you put the paper on it. Okay. But. We can try. They can try. Yeah,、course. yeah, yeah. Because that was what we have at home. We can try, right? Is is a water. If you have a water, you can put everything on the top, and、yes. you can try. Right, right. I I just think you know watercolor tends to be a bit thinner、uh, when it comes out. So、uh, maybe we want not to put too much water in it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah,、mm -hmm. you're right. Maybe they can try. Maybe in a small cup they can try. Yeah, yeah, right, right. 咁我諗如果觀眾咧，你屋企有水彩，其實真係都可以試下嘅。我哋大膽啲去嘗試下啦。
、呃、水彩，只要唔好溝太稀啦，我估應該都得嘅，因為我哋而家有一個縮粉水喺個底嗰度咧，溅起咗咧，咁我我諗都應該有一個效果睇到出嚟嘅。OK， so I, and I think this color comes out very nicely. Yes, it is right, and that I'm gonna use the bees, the needle. Maybe I can make some kind of waves. Whatever I want. Okay. 咁如果我哋有一支誒誒竹籤啦，我哋好似 Selen 咁樣樣製造一啲浪花形啦，或者一啲螺旋紋啦，咁隨你自己嘅喜歡啦。So, um, you just make a pattern depending on your liking. And if you have your paper, get your paper ready. Yeah, I'm gonna put on the top. Yes. Put on the top, and then I'm checking the ears. Right. 我哋放咗張紙上去咧，輕輕手咧就將啲氣泡整走先。我哋唔想咧，即、就、係、是、有啲窿窿喺張圖畫上邊啦。OK， 好神奇地，我哋就要有一幅創作出現啦。OK， we just want to pull the paper. There we go. Yay! And this is nice. Of course, it's not the same a traditional Hebrew, but、mm. They can make a lot of patterns, and it's easy to make it.、Mm. They can maybe it's more blue. Maybe I should put more red, and、yeah. then I can try. If、okay. you want to use this water again, you、mm. sh they should put、uh, newspaper first. Otherwise, all the colors、uh, do mix、uh, the same. Okay, I see. Then we also, ah, actually, use this water, but. 誒，再做第二幅畫前咧，先索一索啲顏料，因為佢都開始有啲撈埋咗啦。So the trick is to absorb some of the colour, so、um, before that you do the next painting, because otherwise the colours will be all mixed up, right? Yes, it is. A, I use the traditional way, the same way. You、mm. you use the newspaper. Newspaper is good for the absorb the、uh, dye. Yes. That's why the water and now it's clean. Yes. Okay. So we are now using a paper towel to soak some of the paint out. We can continue using the water. Yes. I hope you like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wonderful. I think this is very, very nice. Um, so I, I just, I just have one question because you now,、uh, when you put the color, it looks very easy. <laughs> so, but、yeah. I'm sure because you have a lot of practice.、Yeah. Um, so the idea is to do it lightly, so the wrist shouldn't be too stiff, right? So you just tap it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you are right. Uh, when I uh, watch my uh, professor, I ask the same thing. It's、mm. easy, but it is not because、uh, it's very interesting. The horse hair、uh, observe the color. If you、uh, push very hardly,、mm. all the colors push all around the basin, and、mm. you never make the, another one. That's why、mm. you.、Uh, You make sure that uh, your uh, hand is glide on the water and、mm. goes softly, and the, all the、uh, you make sure that all the basin、uh, should be same、uh, colored and slightly and may maybe easily. Uh, otherwise, uh, I know uh, first I uh, learned this uh, uh, technique. It was very hard to make、right. basin as well. And the most、uh, hard, hardest thing is the、uh, flower. I think、mm. uh, more practice, more practice, more practice. Right, right. So we just need to experiment more、uh, before we can get you know, the kind of results that we want. Now, so and I think、um, we don't have time for a lot of、uh, you know learning the turnip. I think that's too difficult for us. But、uh, what I think is, I, I wonder if you have time to show us another one. Can, can is do you have paper still, and you can show us another one? The tra traditional one. Yeah,、uh, I mean,、uh, can you demonstrate another、uh, painting? Oh, sure, I can. The, the, you mean the same way, is right? Yes, yes, yes. I think the viewers need to look at it again to make sure they understand what is being done. 咁我啱啱同阿 Selen 講咧，因為我哋誒都想睇多一次。實際上係嗱，我哋睇到係先撒一層你中意嘅顏色啦。Now maybe I can put more light colors and then. Uh, because before I put、uh, more blue,、yeah, yes, it's it's like a 
uh, know how. How can you make it and you can decide it? I put maybe little. Okay. And I think it's enough. And I don't want to mix it. Maybe I can put away paper again. Um, we will try again. Try again. 顏色擠好咗之後咧，我哋係好輕手放張紙上嘅，然後將啲氣泡移除曬先。So we need to remove the air bubbles after we put the paper on the water. Sometimes uh, I show, uh, I, I saw uh, some videos. Uh, they are using some shapes, maybe heart shapes, mm. and yes. they are on the uh, water and they are hanging the shapes. It's very beautiful, and they can make some decorations. Mm. And uh, it's 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 just like an image. Whatever you want, you can do it. Mm. Okay. Okay. So one one trick is to when you slide um, the paper, you you need to pull it across the uh, the edge of the basin. What? Why? Why do we want to do that? To because, uh, is is a uh, still or uh, the water on the paper? You yes. have light uh, to the edge and the water comes out onto the basin not yes. come out if it comes with the paper the colors is mixing and mm. it, it's not going to be good that's why you have to slide and uh, more water goes uh, should be goes to the basin that's why okay so the paint remains on the paper yes. but the water will not come with the paint yes. oh, okay Actually, actually, um, Selen, yeah. do you think you could show us how to draw the turnip? <laughs> uh, for this passing. Yeah, is it possible at all? No, because, because with this solution? And uh, this water cannot, but maybe later uh, we can I hope uh, the uh, the virus uh, ends up, and yeah. maybe we can do it together. Yes. And we yeah. can do it traditional way. It's hard to make it uh, on the top because uh, the water and the, the paint is not traditional. That's why. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I think that is very important because I think viewers will think that you know this is the kind of materials that we can use for uh, all the paintings. But um, I just like to remind them that you know this is kind of like a uh, uh, um, DIY version, right? So, so this is what we get at home, and then you know it is good to have a try. Um, yes. But if we want the more professional patterns, we need to have the professional materials, right? Our day day, um, 睇咗嗰啲好靓嗰啲啊，郁金香花啊嗰啲咧，其实就需要一啲诶要求高啲嘅颜料咧，墨料先至可以做得到嘅。但系咁喺呢个时候咧，我哋不如诶诶去诶下一张片咧，就系。其實誒，咁、呃、我哋畫完咗呢一啲畫之後，我哋做乜咧？除咗係誒可以裱起佢啦，好似右上角咁樣裱起佢啦。啊、呃，我哋亦都可以將佢係好似誒、呃、右下角啦。我哋我哋擠落去一本筆記簿咧，右下角嗰個右下角嗰個咧，就係、是、誒一本記事簿啦，或者個木盒仔啦。即係其實佢亦都可以黐喺木上邊嘅。So we can use the uh, Ebru painting mm -hmm. for framing, you know, to decorate our home, um, like on the top right corner, or we can do um, a notebook cover, we can do a box cover, or we can do, um, you know, after the uh, paper is done and it's dry, we can cut into different shapes like this one, we can see stars, or you can do Christmas trees, I guess. Um, and then you can use other, like, you know, a, a plant container, you can do it like that. So, I, I mean, you know, there are infinite ways of using Ebru. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. A, a lot of materials can use uh, for Ebru. Ebru is, uh, is very interesting uh, art, I think. Yes, yes. Um, 嗯, 那我們看到這裏相信觀眾們都應該有些問題的不如剩下少少時間我們看看有沒有問題想請Helen解答一下的OK,、okay, um, so we go into the Q&A session and see if uh, we have any questions Actually, um, I can look. I can see some comments. Um, so beautiful, right? <laughs> so and um, 
it is very interesting. Um, and there are questions like, you know, whether we can use watercolor, whether we can use the other paints, but uh, you have already answered those questions. Um, let's see if we have other new questions coming up. Anyone with a question? We'll give them 10 seconds to get ready. <laughs> And uh, if they want, I can give my email address. They can ask me. Uh, I can type my email address if they want. And sure. they, maybe later they can ask me and then I can reply. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. And, and actually, uh, or if you have like a, a web page of, of your own, you can show where you show your artworks or um, other information. It's in progress. Uh, not, uh, I, I, I haven't now uh, the website, uh, but I have uh, Instagram uh, or my mail address. They can keep in touch. Okay, sure. And I guess when uh, if they have a question, they that you can you know our viewers can send your questions to me, and I can forward to Selen as well. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, actually, we have a, uh, I have a question, and which is um, how large is the Turkish community in Hong Kong? Do you have a lot of people in Hong Kong? It's not many people is living in Hong Kong. Yeah. I think 500 or 600. All right, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, Tao Yiqi, guess I could I could have look back. Yeah, and many of them are families. I, I believe they work here and the children go to school here. All right, and, and mostly they are going to, uh, they are working in a bank. My husband's working in a bank as well. Yes. Uh, and then uh, Hong Kong is beautiful. <laughs> I love to live here. Uh, and I love Hong Kong. Uh, yeah. I, I hope uh, they like my works uh, and then uh, I will develop myself. I work a lot. Yeah. Um, so, so do you get, as an artist, do you see your styles change after coming to Hong Kong? I mean, are there local styles that have, um, you know, gone into your work at all? Uh, no, uh, I, I work Hebrew, but not. Uh, not all the time because uh, I have a space. I need a space. Uh, but uh, before the virus, uh, some uh, some how can I say some some uh, curse curse. Uh, uh, how can I say? I, I would like to make the workshop for the course, and they call mm. me for the course to teach students. Oh, but, okay. Uh, before the virus, but and then the uh, is locked down and is all cancelled. Uh, it's it's good to uh, to teach someone uh, this amazing uh, and it's good for me because now you are you know Turkey and the Turkish marbling arts. Right. Uh, for me, it's, it's like a cultural things. Uh, I'm happy to uh, introduce myself, my country, my artwork. I'm so happy. Yeah, that's wonderful. And we're very happy to uh, have you telling us about your culture. Um, I think because most people in Hong Kong, you know, uh, some of us have been to Turkey on tour groups and all that. And of course, they enjoyed all the brick scenery uh, and, and of course the balloons and, and of course the handicrafts and, um, and the food. Um, but in Hong Kong, uh, we, we do have quite a few Turkish restaurants, right? Um, that yes. serves kebab, coffee, and then everything. Oh, you know kebab. <laughs> yes, oh, one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. Everyone I think, loves kebab. I yes, love yes, yes, yes. Kebab is the most important traditional meal in Turkey. Yeah. Do you eat that in Hong Kong? So you, you cook it at home? Can you do that at home? Kebab is a little bit tricky. It's a little bit hard because mm. you have to find a very good meat for uh, it's, the recipe is a little bit different uh, but uh, uh, I can make some kind of things in uh, at my home mm. uh, I like Turkish foods but I like the other uh, countries with Asian foods and the Japanese uh, and Indian all, all kind of foods uh, I think Hong Kong is the most uh, wonderful thing is you can find a lot of, a lot of cultures and you can eat any kind of food, uh, it is amazing place. That's why I love to live here. 
<laughs> exactly. I, I think this is perhaps one of the best thing of uh, living in Hong Kong. You have uh, a combination of all different kinds of cultures and you are free to explore different cuisines. You can try different foods and I, I think that's also wonderful. And there are different religions from coming from different cultures and, you know, we freely mix a match. And, and, and yes. so I, I think it is a wonderful place to be in. And I'm so glad you like Hong Kong. Let me translate a little bit for our uh, canton. Speakers, I'm I'm selling to my little tie, the lesson Hong Kong, Sigan Mao Chang, or I'm on the man for you, hey, okay, I'm all drinking kebab and like a holland to sick of kebab, like that is still how you come here, land, DK, I may have Hong Kong, like you might do you land, you've seen how you do the kebab, land, like you all some in Hong Kong, and we are high school, you're punya, you're hot, you're a tip to the whole door, and Tong Gay, Yam Sigman Fa, come young, so you're Hong Kong, I always some light to my air, Hong Kong, you do your whole Tong Gay Man Fa, hey, little land, like I. 都可以 freely 咁樣樣去 mix， 咁係非常之好嘅一個地方。唯一咧，我諗佢都提到啦，就地方唔係好夠。咁<笑>誒，因為原本咧都係誒教開好多呢啲誒藝術嘅班啦，因為疫情之下咧好多啲誒課堂都要取消咗。咁但係我哋希望咧就誒網上可以介紹到少少呢個誒。浮水畫嘅文化啦，亦都可以誒令到大家認識多啲呢一個土耳其嘅藝術嘅。咁誒。我睇下仲有冇朋友有問題先，暫時都好似冇第啲問題喎、哦。Um, I think、um, most of our viewers、um, are quite happy and they don't have many questions. So, but we need to ask Selen to teach us a Turkish phrase, and which is this. <laughs> That is teşekkürler. Teşekkürler. Yeah, thank you. And in Chinese, it's easier. Doje. Doje. Yes. <laughs> I know. So we, this is what we learned today. Everybody, repeat after me. Circular. <laughs> and thank you. But、uh, let us thank Selen so much. Thank you again for organizing this for us, to making all the videos, and doing this amid your very very busy schedule. We are really really、uh, grateful for your、um, you know explanation and your demonstration today. To circular. Amazing. 我哋啱啱學咗咧，就係用土耳其話講多謝啦。咁大家咧都學咗一個新詞啦。今日真係好開心咧，同 Selen 喺呢度傾偈，同埋睇到佢嘅示範啦。我哋學識一個好重要嘅一個土耳其嘅藝術。咁我哋講到呢一度咧，就差唔多啦。下一次咧 ，Before we go, I need to do a bit of advertisement, and which is the next workshop is going to be held in September, which is September twenty-six. Um, and 咦唔見曬啲相，誒我哋今日有一啲 technical issue 喎，點解唔見曬我哋啲相咧？而家<笑>我哋將我哋嗰啲相揾翻出嚟啊！今日我哋啲插蘇咧有啲麻煩啊！啊、uh, ，we don't have a technician today, so that's why the machines are acting up. But、um, we actually are trying to <笑> let me see. Promote our next workshop, which is going to be about Sri Lankan Wisak lanterns.、Um, this is very interesting because Wisak is a very important festival in Sri Lanka, and、um, it so happens、um, we will be having our mid-autumn festival, and we use a lot of lanterns in Hong Kong. So,、um, you know, just in time, we learn a different culture as well as a lantern from the Sri Lankan culture. We'll be learning it from Aravinda, and he will teach us how to make a Visak lantern on the 26th of September, which is Saturday, 11 o'clock. And so we hope all our viewers will join us. And 下一个工作坊咧，我哋就学下斯里兰卡嘅诶灯笼。咁呢個叫做維塞燈籠，原因就係維塞係一個好重要嘅誒佛教節日喺斯里蘭卡。咁咁啱咧，我哋十月一號就係中秋節，我估咧我哋就可以學下另外一個文化點樣樣去做燈籠。啱啱好咧，我哋可以做個燈籠過中秋節亦都得喎。咁希望到時咧就見到大家。And then the next is going to be really the last slide. And This is our、um, website、uh, QR codes.、Um, please join us, or if you need more information from MIA, please、um, feel free to、um, go to our Facebook page,、uh, join us, follow us. And here we go. We need to say goodbye in Turkish. Güle güle. 
Go lay, go lay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Selen. We'll see you again very soon. Click, click. Bye bye. Bye bye.